Hello again. In this mini lecture, we will look briefly at marketing services. Marketing is the process of planning and executing the conception, pricing, promotion and distribution of ideas, goods, services, organizations and events to create and maintain relationships that will satisfy individual and organizational objectives. It is the process of creating, communicating and delivering the value of a product or a service to customers for the purpose of selling it. It is an organization function and a set of processes. The understanding of the market comes through the market analysis and market segmentation. Also, the understanding of customer behavior is needed. Marketing can be defined in several ways. There were five main areas. Firstly, we talk about the production era that lasted until the 1950s. In this period, different production methods mattered. Secondly, we talk about the product focus that lasted until the 1960s, where the quality of the product mattered. Thirdly, we talk about the selling period in the 1950s and 60s, where different selling methods were focused on. Then, the concept of marketing was and is prevalent from 1970s until now, where customers' needs and wants matter. And lastly, the concept of holistic marketing is ongoing now in the 21st century, where everything matters. Marketing of services is a relatively new phenomenon. It is a subfield of marketing. It covers both goods and services. We can ask whether the marketing of services is different from marketing of goods. The product in service marketing is intangible. It's more of a question whether you trust the seller, but also how would you decide in the situation between multiple providers versus one provider. Marketing in services is addressing a change in customer satisfaction, requirements and the need for valuable and high quality services. Marketing in the public sector means that the emphasis is on the managerial dim dimension. The function of marketing is on building relationships between citizens and organizations, but to also facilitate change in people's way of using services. Marketing in the public sector has been a more serious debate since the new public management, where three M's, markets, managers and measurement, came into rele relevance. Furthermore, marketing in the public sector is addressing the public orientation in tasks and services. When talking about marketing public sector services, we can mention four aspects. Firstly, the development of the marketing concept in the public sector context takes into consideration non-commercial aspects of the public sector and relationship between a wide variety of stakeholders. Then, the field is also shaped by the development of public administration models, such as new public management and hybrid management models that give a more flexible approach to managing the public sector. Thirdly, we can also talk about the growing uncertainty regarding public bodies as the debate regarding the availability of public funding and the diversity of citizens' needs is especially loud. And lastly, there is the need for stronger social ties as new roles of public administration emerge and reconnecting and creating social links within the sector and between different stakeholders becomes increasingly relevant. But is marketing in the public sector context relevant at all? The nature of the public sector and the many layers of the relationships within the market suggest that deeper analysis of these relationships is needed. The central concern is producing outcomes that the target market values. What is marketing addressing? For example, the influences of central government funding, reduced levels of satisfaction and participation in using th different public services and products, the rising expectations of citizens and application of fees and charges for some public services, but also the information or the lack of it provided by the public sector organizations. Social marketing in the public sector is also important to mention. It is the design, implementation and control of programs calculated to influence the acceptability of social ideas and involving considerations of product planning, pricing, communication, distribution and marketing research. Social marketing is a process that applies marketing 
principles and techniques to create, communicate and deliver value in order to influence target audience behaviors that benefit society as well as the target audience. The overall goal in social marketing in the public sector is to bring about specific behavioral goals relevant to social good. For example, the prevention of anti-social behavior. These campaigns are often health and social good related. The goal is not to change how people think or how aware they are, but to change and maintain how people behave. It is important though to keep in mind that social marketing is not the same thing as social media marketing. Marketing planning processes include uh, the following step. Mission statement as where every organization should be able to say concisely what their main reason for existing is. To define the purpose. Corporate objectives which insinuate that the marketing department is a part of the company and so must fit in with what the overall company is doing. As such, it needs to appreciate what the corporate objectives are and ensure its own actions and decisions support the overall objectives. So the corporate objectives are a set of the most important goals the company wishes to attain in a given period of time. The big important issues and goals that the organization has set itself. Then the marketing audit. This is the part where it is asked, where are we now? And to define the different aspects of the situation. A SWOT analysis is often used. This defines the strengths and weaknesses, which are internal factors, and opportunities and threats, external factors, of the situation. Then come the marketing objectives and strategy for marketing departments. The objectives and strategies relate to the company's products, services and brand, and to the markets itself. The objectives are about deciding what are you offering and to whom, how to achieve the stated goal, Marketing mix plan is used to ensure that the marketing planning process is carried out properly. It is important that decisions about the mix are made only after the earlier stages in the process have been carried out. Marketing mix is a business tool that is often crucial when determining a product or brand's offer. This is often associated with the four P's, price, product, promotion and place. Budget setting objectives and choosing a strategy means that you are going to develop a plan of action. This will involve using resources. The budget is the process of documenting the expected costs of the proposed marketing plan. Implementation. This is actually one section that is kept off from the table. This is the point that a marketing team is ready to actually start putting their plans into action. This may involve spending money on advertising, launching new products, interacting with potential new customers, opening new offices and so on. People who are carrying out the plan should also be included in the initial phases of the project to understand processes and logic of actions. Evaluation. Although left to the end, evaluation should be carried out throughout the project to make necessary changes and to have success. Good marketing plans are evaluated by referring to the objectives set earlier. Objectives should be smart. It should be also able to collect feedback along the way. What is the plan B? One should be prepared for the unexpected. Here is also an example of a comprehensive marketing mix. But thank you for listening and stay tuned for the coming mini lectures. Mm -hmm.